Hello guys, welcome back to my videos. Today we're going to be doing another tutorial, Unreal Engine tutorial. Uh, this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you how to make an interaction, interaction UI, where when you go and try to interact with something or look at something, it shows press E to pick up or something like that. I'm gonna make this gun when you press E, you pick it up instead of just overlapping. So first of all, let me make the UI, the easiest part. So we create a new folder. If you have that folder, you can put it there. Widgets, folder. Here we go. And then you right click here, user interface and widget blueprint. Select this user widget. I mean, that's the only thing to choose. I'm gonna call this interaction widget. Here we go. Once you've created the interaction widget, add a canvas panel, put it, drag it right over here, like that. Now we have this box. Drag out a text saying press E to pick up, like that. Press press E to interact. It's better to put it to interact so that, uh, for example, you want door open, door to open when you press E, it still would work, would make sense. I'm gonna set the anchor to be centered like that. Just bring it slightly below like that. And that's pretty much the UI. We are going to click on this text block and make this is variable. Let me call this text block um, interaction text. We are going to call it like that. Now that we are done with the interaction widget, we need to go to the two settings over here on top right corner and go to project settings this menu will pop up like this over here scroll down to collision over here and as you can see if you select the first person uh, first person template this a projectile collision will appear this uh, basically like object channel where you use it for collision purposes so we need to create a new object channel we call we call this interactable interact we don't need to change the default response you can just leave it at whatever you like I'm gonna leave it as blocked now all you got to do is open the first person character you need to get event tick over here so that you you need to check every frame if you are looking at a interactable object or not so you uh, put this event tick over here Add a line, trace, for objects. Basically, basically test for objects. Actually, no, you don't. You don't need. You can use any line trace you like. Just do line trace with channel by channel, the default type. So we get the camera. We get the world location of the camera and the forward vector. The forward vector will be multiplied by the a float over here multiplied by for example 300 which is 3 meters let me promote that variable and call that um, reach length this is basically how far can you how far away can you interact with something and then add this together like that attach this addition to the end and the word location at the start and now we add from the return value, type in branch, and this both lines will appear like that. And then you leave it like that. We need, you need to create another branch over here. You can put an and over here, but okay, I'm going to do that instead. See, in the condition, press control and drag this out and type in and. Like that. From the output, you do break hit result. And find the head component over here and get object. I think that's what's called here. Get collision object type. If it's equal to. Doesn't work like that. Okay. Sometimes it doesn't work properly. This one. If it's equal, equal enum like that. If it's equal to the interactable object like that. If it's interactable, we make the text visible. If it's not uh, a, an interactable, it would uh, the widget will disappear. So as you can see, this would cause a bit of error because I place an and over here. I just realized. 
I should be doing like that. Same as what I was supposed to do before. Because first make sure that it hits something before it tries to check this. If I put an and it will check for both. Now we try to create the the widget by make, doing event begin play over here. And then create widget. The widget will be the interactable widget we made. And add to viewport. Uh, let me promote the, vari the variable here, the return value. Where is it? Promote the variable. I'm gonna call that um, interaction widget. Like that. Just gonna connect it like this. Oops, like that. Okay, now that we made this, I needed the the variable over here so that we can actually modify stuff inside the widget. So from here we do get widget, and what did I call the the text? It's called interaction text. So I do get interaction text, and I do set visibility, set visibility, like that. Or you know what? I'm gonna remove this branch. You don't need the branch. Just directly connect that. Connect the branch to the set visibility and do drag from the invisibility select and change the the index to boolean so that it uh, so that and attach this directly. So if it is interactable, it becomes visible, but if it's not an interactable object, you make it hidden. So now if I play, nothing would happen at all, or actually, everything everything would happen. It constantly shows stuff. Right now, it starts visible f um, in the beginning, but when I, once I hit, like, interact with something, it becomes invisible. If it is not hitting anything right, right over here, it still should should be hidden. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna delete this, copy the set visibility, attach it to the false too. Like that, and by default, it's gonna be hidden like that. I've like separated it into branch like that because if I put this at false, this part, it might cause errors. Like this. Now when I start, it starts like invisible no matter what. Now if I... Nothing in the game shows that um, is actually an interactable. Let me make this an interactable, the rifle. So we open this rifle. And we go to the collision preset. Type in custom. And open that and change the world static to world or no, change it to interactable. Now still things will not appear because it's overlapping. Since it's overlapping, now I have to make the visibility over here. The, this, this visibility, the line trace uses visibility, the channel, the trace channel. So I'm gonna change the visibility over here to blocking. It would overlap the player and everything, but when I look at it directly over here, it shows press E to interact right now if I press E nothing happens because of course um, I haven't made anything that uh, does anything so uh, still I overlap and then stops now the interactable widget works now let's make it instead of overlapping it uh, it instead you have to press E to work for it to work now I'm in the rifle over here the rifle I'm gonna remove the event begin overlap even these comments now we need this. We type in custom, make a custom event over here, and call that pick up gun like that. Attach this over here, and attach this object over here. I of course can't put it over here. Okay, we need to uh, select the pick up gun and press the plus icon to add an input. Change this input to player or whatever the player is called. It's the f called the first person character. So we type in first person character over here, like that. And attach it like this. Let me. We don't want to call it new param. We're gonna call it uh, player. Much better. Or actually, now, now since I've, uh, since it is inputting a player, I don't need to do this cast. I can just directly connect it like this. I can remove this, and this. Just attach this directly. And remove that. Here we go. Now we got that. Okay, this part does the. Line t invisible line test for the interaction 
and this spot controls whether things are invisible or not this uh, uh, this thing happens in eventic so i'm gonna copy this part unselect eventic just copy this and paste somewhere over here and we got the same exact code and leave the reach reach length over here and let's put the keyboard type in keyboard e and find the e key bind over here here we go this so when you press e it uh, it hits the rifle so i gonna, gonna break hit over here and just do branch on the blocking hit you can actually do this certain value and blocking hit is exactly the same thing it's just exactly the same thing so i'm gonna do that when this happens i'm gonna check the hit actor if it it is uh, i do cast to to rifle bp underscore rifle the one in the first person character here and now we what do we call the uh, the function uh, the custom event pickup gun so we type in pick up, pick up gun like that and the player is self self because right now when the first person character this is the player the, the first person character is the player right now if I overlap nothing happens if I press E it pick up the gun perfect this is how it works right now simple easy so hopefully you guys understood and pick uh, learned something new hopefully you guys enjoyed and see you guys in the next video goodbye